Hey guys, Cassie here and Sir George, apparently, who is very excited for today's workout. Um, you guys, it is Saturday. It is the sixth day of the week, and today we get to relax and stretch because your body has been through a lot this week. We work total body, legs, butt, arms, I mean the whole situation. So today we're gonna allow your body to lengthen, um, to open up, and I've got an amazing 30 minute stretching routine for you. So I know that sounds kind of long, but sometimes I even stretch for like an hour and a half because it feels so good. You need to allow your body time to get into the movement, to open up because when you first start stretching, your body's really tight, it's just holding against it. So for each of the moves today, and I've got 20 moves, you guys, we're gonna be holding each of these poses for one minute, okay? We get a 10 second break, so it's the same thing, but we've got 20 movements. Um, we're not repeating, uh, you know, like the two rounds like we have for the regular workouts, so that is what you can expect. And also, before we get started, I am doing a big giveaway on Poplex Active Instagram, and today I'm giving away this mat, the Sunset Vegan Suede Mat that we've been using for this entire summer sculpt program. And I love this mat so much because it is cushiony, and also the top is so, so soft. Like I said, it's made out of vegan suede, and because of the special materials that I've used to design this, when your hands get sweatier, you do not slip, which is so important because I know on those regular neoprene mats, I just slip away as soon as I start getting into my workout, which really sucks because you can't even hold yourself up doing your plank. So head over to Poplex Active and sign up for that giveaway. You just need to leave a comment. Um, yeah, so are you ready to get started? The only thing you're going to need, you guys, is a strap like this one that George really likes. If you don't have a yoga strap at home, honestly, if you just use a towel or even a sweater that you don't really care about too much um, stretching, then you can use that. But we will be using it for a portion of the stretches to really get into the hamstrings and the legs, okay? So I am gonna try to leave my uh, strap here, but I don't know where it's gonna end up. So uh, let's just see. So our first movement is the squat fold, what that looks like. Your feet are gonna be a little bit wider than hip width apart. You're gonna come down just like so, elbows in between the legs, place the hands down, and then lift and straighten, okay? To allow uh, movement in the hips and the hamstrings. Okay, so I'm gonna click start. And here we go, squat folds. So right here, I George. And then I want you to lift up. So notice how your feet actually do move around. So my heels come in for this part, toes out, elbows pressing into the knees, into the inner thighs, palms coming down, and then my feet shift. My heels head back towards the windows, and then I move my feet again to allow myself to get into this really low, low squat. And then hands down, pressing those legs back, allowing yourself to feel the back of the legs, your hamstring stretching out. You wanna relax the head and then come back here, allowing those hips to really open up. The great thing with these stretches is that you get to take your time, really take your time. You can even go slower than me if you want. Okay, so next one is squat shoulder opener. So we did this before um, during the week, during one of our warm ups. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna place the hands behind the back, clasping the hands together, feet hip width apart. You're gonna squat, and then you're gonna lift up shoulders over the head. I mean, hands over the shoulders. We're here, squatting down. Warming up the body, warming up the shoulders. I really love this move, because it gets everything working. Gets the blood flowing. <sighs> Looks like George left my strap, so this is good news. I'll be able to use it. And now if your shoulders are feeling really tight, you can also hold a towel here and just go as far as you can. If clasping behind is just like, too much, don't worry about it. I always say flexibility takes time. You don't want to rush it. Two, one, rest. Okay, now we're going to head into our hip. 
stretch. So what's gonna happen here, go ahead and bring one leg forward and notice how I'm not bending over like that, okay? I want you to have space right here between your hip and your thigh. What you're gonna do is pull this hip forward. So even though it doesn't look like much, I'm actively pulling this hip forward and I can feel my quad and my hip stretch on this leg right here, okay? And if you want a little bit more, scoot your feet forward, just making sure this is always at a 90 degree and keep that space right here. Hold, feel it in that hip flexor. Do you feel it? Good, you can scoot your feet, your foot a little bit more forward again, making sure everything is lined up correctly and you have space, hold and breathe. Good. Oh man, I like that we're doing this timed uh, stretching thing so that you know how long you have to go. <laughs> okay, so right here, 90 degree, we're not leaning down yet. I want you to pull this hip forward. I feel it right here, right now, okay? You should too, if you're truly actively pulling it forward. Now, if you feel it and you feel like you can go a little bit more, only then do I want you to bring this leg forward, bring the knee forward too, and then feel the stretch right here in your hips. Again, allowing space right here between your hips and your thigh. Hold. Feeling it right here. Breathing. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Just stretch out because you've worked your body so hard this week. Okay, so it is Saturday. It is time to take a little breather. And up. Okay, now the strap. You guys, grab your strap, grab your towel, your jacket, whatever you're using. We're gonna go for a straight leg stretch right side. So I'm gonna place this around the arch of my foot. Okay, relaxing down. First bending the knee, and then I want you to bring that foot towards you, just like that, okay? You can even add a little movement if you feel like that helps you. You don't really need to worry about flexing or pointing the foot. I just want you to think about engaging your hamstring here. Now, if you're ready, lengthen that leg out and pull this leg closer to you. Your main thing is to try to keep this hip down, the one with the leg up, okay? And pull it in as far as you can. Maybe you're at 90 degrees today. Maybe you're more, maybe you're less, it doesn't matter. What matters is where you are tomorrow. And if you keep getting better, it means you kept pushing yourself. Hold. Hip square. Okay, good. Now, holding onto that strap, we're gonna head into our IT band stretch. So what I want you to do is slightly bring over the foot, no farther than where your ear is, so it's super duper tiny, and then pull it in. Yup. That's your IT band. It is waking up, okay? Pull it over a little more. So at this point, both of your uh, upper butt cheeks should still be slightly touching the ground, okay? We don't wanna fully come over yet. Good. Now, now we lift that other butt cheek. We allow the leg to come forward. Pulling it towards the, the shoulder, allowing the other hand to come away. Okay, chest towards the ceiling, hold it. Ooh, and the leg feels spicy, do you feel that? Breathe. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, really good. Now, this one's interesting. You're going to allow the leg to come to the outside of your body like this, okay? Trying to keep this hip down. And right here is pretty good, or right here, wherever you are, right? I want you to try to bring that leg as close to your head 
as possible, as close to the shoulder as possible. Now look, if you want a little bit more, what you can do is you can even bring this strap behind your head like that and hold and pull. Okay, so I'm gonna try that um, because that feels good for my leg. I am not at a place where my leg can go behind my head yet, but maybe one day if I keep practicing, but you try to figure out what's good for you and I just want you to hold that, okay? Again, pressing this hip down and away from the ceiling, you're gonna hold. And just breathe. Close your eyes if you want to. Don't let your muscles pull away. Let it Three, lean into it. Two, one, rest. Okay, very good. Draw that leg in. Now, we're gonna go ahead and switch on to the other foot. Three, Keep two, this knee bent. One, go. We're gonna go into our straight leg pull. Okay, a little movement here. Just a little movement like that to warm up the hamstring, okay? because we're just getting started right now. Okay, now lengthen the other leg and then pull this leg in as far as you can. And you'll notice that one of your legs will be more flexible than the other. You just wanna breathe, inhale. On the exhales is when you wanna pull your leg in a little bit closer. Try to keep that knee straight, keep the hamstring straight, inhale. Exhale, pull it in a little more. Good. Inhale. Now keep that hip down. Exhale. Pull it down. Good. Inhale. Exhale, pull it down. Do you like shaking? Mine is. Okay. Let go slightly. Go ahead and bring that foot no more than past your ear. And then pull it in. Right there. Ooh, I'm shaking already. That's your IT band. I know it's uncomfortable, but you know what? I love me a good stretching session. And it's always really convenient to do your stretches while like watching your favorite show, um, or if you can't concentrate on your stretches while watching a show, uh, then maybe listening to a podcast, yeah? Okay, now bring that foot over. Bring that foot over. Opening up the chest towards the ceiling and pulling that leg towards your shoulder, towards your face, okay? Maybe doubling up with the wrap around your fingers like I just did to be able to hold it more. So this part, it's okay to lift up that lower back, to lift up the upper butt. Three, two, one, okay. Bringing it up. Very, very good. Okay, you guys, next. Um, Three, side two, leg stretch left. I was like, what's coming up next? Okay, so same thing like the other side. You're gonna bring it up right there. Well, I think George is ex very excited about this. So look, you guys, you can keep the leg right here or you can get a little bit more by placing the strap behind your head like so and holding right there. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, and just holding the leg. So it's really important to keep your hip facing the ceiling, holding right there. We're trying to relax your head, relax your hips, and just let that leg get it stretched. And again, it's okay if your leg is at a 90 degree, maybe it's a little less. You can determine how much you wanna stretch, but just hold it, okay? Hold it, close your eyes. I like closing my eyes a lot. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, bringing it up, very nice. Now, we've got a quad stretch. So for this one, you guys, I want you to double up on the mat right here to create a little cushion for your knee. And then go ahead and come right here into your quad stretch, okay? You're here, and then you're going to place this hand down and grab behind to your foot, like so, and then you're gonna pull it towards your butt because we're gonna prepare for our splits. So the splits isn't just about working the back of your leg, it's about working the front of your leg as well. 
So try to keep those hips down, okay? So that when you're pressing this leg in, you're not going like that. I used to do that and think, oh, I can touch my butt. But no, keep everything down, pull it in. Just like that, holding. Ooh, and I notice I'm getting more flexible. This is really good. I've been doing my one and a half hour stretches specifically on Saturday. That's why I wanted to put this video on Saturday. Oh, George is back with the llama. Hello. Oh, hello. And bringing it out. Um, yeah, I specifically do my one and a half hour intense stretching classes on Saturday. So that's why I wanted to do ours on a Saturday. George, don't touch that. Okay. Now you're gonna place this hand down. You're gonna hold onto the foot and we're going to pull it in. Okay, so I noticed that this quad feels a lot more uh, tense than the other, but I will pull it in. Hi, George. Hi. As long as he's not humping me, this will be okay, I think. <laughs> Holding right here. Good. If you need to let go a little bit, that's okay. And then you're gonna pull it in. He's helping me push my quad in more, huh, George? You want mommy to stretch more? You want mommy to be more flexible? Yes? Oh yeah, there you go, he's helping. Give me a little scratches on the side, booty. Holding. He's such a good personal trainer, George. Three, two, one, rest. Okay. Now that we've done each quad, we're gonna head into our double quad stretch. Georgie, Georgie, we've got it, cool. So, our double quad stretch, you're gonna have both of your knees hip distance apart, okay? And then your feet are slightly outside of your butt. Now, level one, well, level one, you could be here. Level two, coming onto the, uh, the, the, the elbows. And then level three, come all the way down. So. It's wherever you feel comfortable, okay? Your ankle shouldn't be hurting. Um, your back shouldn't be hurting. If you are, maybe you need to lift up a little bit more, head on to those elbows or go a little bit higher. This is stretching out our quads both at the same time, yeah? Okay, so hold it right there. And just close your eyes. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, because all of these stretches are gonna prepare you for that split. We're gonna head into our front splits, right and left. Okay, now slowly bringing yourself up. Next we have our pike. So, you're gonna bring your legs forward, and you're going to press the heels into the mat. Now, really important here that we think about lengthening our spine and bring our chest towards our knees, okay? So I don't want chest towards the thighs, chest towards the knees. This allows you to really lengthen. So I like to hold around my heel area, wiggle my booty around, inhale, and then on the exhale, draw my elbows to the floor, draw my chest to my knees, and then, then I lengthen the crown of my head towards my toes. And if you're ready, you can come down a little lower. We're just gonna hold. Try to press your knees down into the mat, lengthening the spine always. Breathing through, Three, inhaling two, through the nose, exhaling one, through the mouth. Rest. And slowly bring it up. Okay, now we're gonna prepare for the splits. Half split first. George, George, stop doing that. Okay, now half split, you're gonna bring one leg forward, okay? Keeping those hips square and flexing your foot, I want you to simply press the hip back. Now what's really cool too, George, stop, is to open and close the hips. George, stop, you're ruining, you're ruining mommy's rug. Open and close. Open and close. Now you really feel it if you're truly pressing your butt away from your body. So don't like hunch forward. You've got to arch your lower back, open up your chest, eyes forward. And then you open and close your hips. Okay? We're adding some movement 
to a stretch, which I really like, because sometimes when you just get straight into a stretch, you feel super tight, but you just kind of got to wiggle into it, you know? Like everything in life, don't just go in, you fit right away. You got to wiggle into it. Okay, so here is our split, you guys. If you can, bring that foot a little bit farther forward, okay? Now, if you can, dig the ball of your foot on that back, uh, back foot, or stop, and hold right here. Trying to keep those hips square. And I want you to have a little movement here, okay? And <laughs> sit down if you can. George, stop. George, stop. George, stop. Bad. Sit. Sit. As I sit here. Okay? George. Hey, George, stop. Bad. Okay. Pointing your toes and coming down. Breathe. And all the stretches that you did should prepare you for this moment. And of course, if you've never done this split before, you're going to be high up. It's okay, stay in that half split pose. This part is for those of you who are close to doing a split. Um, I want you to get here and try to hold it. Okay, lifting up, very good. Hey George, I see things are getting ripped up. George, stop. Okay, half split left. So you're gonna bring your foot forward, okay? And we're going to press the heel into the mat and then you're gonna lift and in. So open and in. Again, remembering to flatten your back first, arching, and then opening up the collarbones, opening up the chest. Just like that. The more you push your booty back, the better it's going to be. George, what are you doing? What are you eating? I don't even know what he's eating sometimes. But I see there's particles of that llama right here. I think you massacred it, George. Really opening it up, you guys. Okay, you ready? For those of you who are ready for the splits on this side, go ahead and slide that front foot forward. Dig the ball of the foot in the back. Up, hoist yourself up. <laughs> George wants me to go into a deeper split, okay? Try to keep your hips square as best as you can. Pointing the toes and allowing yourself to come down as far as you can, okay? Holding it right there. And if you are able to, come forward. Georgie. Georgie, mommy's gotta come forward. Mommy's gotta hold. Inhale, exhale. He wants me to do a longer split, you guys. There's something tasty about my legging, George. There's something on there. <laughs> Holding. Breathing. Appreciating that your muscles let you do this that you can go into crazy movements and crazy poses. And bring it up. Okay, very good. And now we head into our butterfly to open up your hips. Okay, so both of the soles of the feet come together and I want you to butterfly it out a little bit. Georgie, Georgie, they gotta see what it looks like. Okay, open up the chest. Now, taking one hand, Press down your knee. Press down your knee. Draw, draw, draw. Press down your knee, just like so. And if that's too much, hey, it's okay. Just hold, just hold. And then to balance it out, go ahead and take the other hand, press down this knee. So you kind of want to be right here towards like the elbow pit, back kneecap pit of your leg. You don't want to hit um, the knee exactly. And if you do have someone with you at home, um, if you can have them press down both of your like butterfly wings at the same time and hit the floor, that would be the best. Two, one, rest. Okay, you guys, this is our final move. We're heading into our straddle. 
which will prepare you for our middle splits. Um, but we're not gonna go into the middle splits today because we're focusing on those front splits. So, open up your legs as wide as possible. Because I'm still working on my middles, but I will get there one day. So you wanna come down right here. Or right here, maybe you're right here. Open out as wide as, as wide as you can. Keep your knees facing up. Keep your quads facing up even as you come forward. It's so really important that your back stays flat. A little arch is always good. Keep the collarbones up, keep the chest up. George, he's mad that I'm not paying attention to him right now. He's like, mommy, mommy, pay attention to me. He's a weird accent. More like, mommy, mommy, pay attention to me. And then go ahead and reach it forward as far as you can. George, George, what you doing? George, <laughs> reaching the crown of your head towards Three, me. Two, one, rest. And coming all the way up. Okay, George, I think he is excited that the stretching routine is now over. Um, go ahead and bring your legs together and sit up tall for me. You guys, that was your day six routine, um, your Saturday splits stretching routine as a part of the Summer Sculpt program. We have 28 days that we're gonna be spending together and you will find so much of a positive change in your mind, in your body, in your spirit. Um, and you know what, just seeing you every day for 28 days, that's cool, because we get to hang out together. Also, do not forget to enter the giveaway for the mat that I used today and I've been using for the entire Summer Sculpt Challenge. It's on PopFlex Active, and if you want the entire 28-day calendar, head over to my blog, blogalades.com, and print it out to stick it on your wall. You guys, I am super proud of you. I will see you back here tomorrow, Sunday, the seventh routine of your week, and it's gonna be a brutal one. So I hope your muscles felt really good today. You should be loose and open, but get a good night's sleep because we're gonna kill it, and it's gonna feel really good. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.